What's up everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Steve Fast and we are here in the Hammerdown Motorsports garage. Behind us we have our 2019 Ram Rebel and we do have a little bit tore apart on the front here but we will be updating you guys that in a future video. We do have something pretty big happening in the front here and we do have other mods going on as well. One being that we have to pull the spare tire. So I figure what better way to share with you guys on how to take the spare tire down on your Ram Rebel if you do get a flat tire and the owner's manual, if you're like me, I don't like using the owner's manual, I'll probably go straight to YouTube. So if you're like that as well, this video is for you. We are gonna be using the factory removal tools and all that kind of good stuff and showing you how to do it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is locate where your jack and all your jack tooling is located. Now over here on the passenger side, we have this little access cover. I'm just gonna grab a hold of that. I'm gonna pull that out of the way. Set that aside, no tools required to remove that. And then you see this little yellow screw right here. You're gonna wanna unscrew that till that comes loose. Set that aside. Grab a hold of your jack and your tooling. Give it a little wiggle and the whole kit just kind of pulls out. We'll set that here on our tailgate. So now over here you'll notice we have our jack and we have our tool kit. There's Velcro that holds this all together. We're gonna undo our Velcro straps. Remove our jack. And then we can open up our tool kit. So the first thing in our kit we're gonna talk about is our little funnel. This is actually for our capless fuel system. So since we don't have a regular fuel cap, you can't just stick a jerry can nozzle into here and expect to fill up your fuel. You actually have to stick this little neck down inside there and it's gonna allow you to fill up your tank. So now if you have a flat tire and you have the unfortunate experience of having to use the factory jack to raise your vehicle to change your tire, I would follow the instructions in the owner's manual as far as using this jack. But basically what you're gonna have here is this hook. It's gonna go into this hole over here on your jack. You're actually gonna use your tire iron. It has a little square in it right there. You're gonna fit that onto the end of this. And this is gonna be your handle and you're able to raise and lower your jack. One thing to remember, if you do have a flat tire, you wanna remove your spare tire first before you jack up the vehicle, just because you don't wanna be trying to wiggle your spare tire out from underneath the truck if you do have it up on a jack seeing and how you probably won't have a jack stand in this situation. All right, so we have our tooling all assembled. You can see this end here, which is the smaller end, is gonna go towards the outside of the vehicle. And then our larger end is gonna go inside and operate our winch. And then over here is our access cover. It's gonna push up on that, that out of the way. If it is a little bit stuck, you can use the flat end on your tire iron right here. So now we're gonna insert our tooling, make sure we're lined up on the square on the winch, and then we can attach our tire iron and use it as our crank and lower down our spare tire. So now that we have our tire here on the ground, you just wanna make sure that you have enough slack in your cable to remove it completely. You're gonna to wanna to reach down inside the hub, grab one side of the metal piece that holds the hub of the tire, pull it up through the center, give it a little bit of a wiggle so you get the spring out as well. And then this whole piece is out of the way and you can remove your tire from the vehicle. So now that you referred to your owner's manual, you've made sure that you jacked up the vehicle properly. I do leave a little bit of weight on the tire, but the jack is holding the majority of the weight of the truck just enough so you can crack the lug nuts loose. And then we're gonna take our lug wrench, put it on our factory nut. Then we're just gonna lift up and break it free in a counterclockwise motion. Just like that. So if your truck is like mine, I do have a wheel lock on it. This came from the dealership. You can tell that it is very different from the other lug nuts just for security. And then over here in my center console was my wheel key. We're just gonna open up the package here. And on the very top here is our key, looks just like that. Then we're gonna go over to our locking lug nut. We're gonna put it on to the lug nut, turn it until we feel it go in like that, and we're ready to remove our lock nut. 
And then our factory lug wrench does fit our key very nicely. Just wanna make sure that everything is in place before we start applying pressure. It's gonna lift up. And there we go, we got it broke free. Now that we have all our lug nuts broken free, we're gonna jack the vehicle all the way up off the ground so we can remove our tire and we can remove our lug nuts all the way. And now before you have your last lug nut all the way off, make sure it's on a couple of threads. Sometimes these tires like to stick on the hub. This one obviously is free because it is a brand new truck. But if you do have a little bit of rust on there, you can just kind of give it a little bit of a kick. We just want to make sure that you still have a lug on there. So if it does break free, it's not going to fall off. So now that our tire is free, we're going to remove our last lug nut. It's going to grab a hold of the tire and wheel, pull it forward. And our tire is removed. Then we're gonna grab our spare tire. And what I do is I roll it a little bit towards the rear, put the tire iron in the middle, kind of get it as centered as possible, and then lift up on the tire iron. Get your spare tire in place. And now you just wanna make sure that you're centered up on your hub, make sure everything is nicely aligned. We're gonna reinstall our lug nuts, finger tight. Then we're gonna take our lug wrench, Start to snug them down in a cross pattern. So if you guys did make it to this point in the video, we're just gonna do a quick little shop update on what we got going on over here in the Hammerdown Motorsports garage. Over here, if you guys are new to the channel, this is our 2017 Camaro SS. It has a Vortex supercharger and a whole pile of other goodies. It is running almost 530 wheel horsepower currently until we get our fuel system. Then we're probably gonna crank it up and make some crazy power and it should be a whole lot of fun. And over here we have our project truck bed. It has its first coat of Raptor liner and you can see it looks absolutely amazing. I really love the way this stuff turns out. It's made by you, Paul. And we had the bed off, so I did some of the repair work. We did actually have a pretty big rust hole right there. It's got brand new metal in, you wouldn't even be able to tell. And we have the front of the bed nicely done as well. So once it goes back on the truck, we don't have that space not painted. Everything is gonna be nicely covered. We are gonna be doing the back of the cab before we put this all together and get that all looking awesome once again. And over here we do have the winch plate and all that kind of stuff. We had to make a few modifications to that. So things are progressing on the project truck. Over here we have the Porsche, pretty well unchanged. I really need to drive this car more, but it just seems that we got so much going on that this one ends up sitting. So yeah, now we gotta put a battery in it, good times. So now upstairs in the mezzanine, this is going to be the Hammer Down headquarters. Once we get it all figured out, we're gonna have a nice little living room in this area. We are gonna have a kind of kitchen, refrigerator, kind of bar area here, and then in the back, this is gonna be the editing studio. It's where I'm gonna have my desk and all that kind of good thing. We have windows installed now, thanks to neighbor Mike. Actually, thanks to neighbor Mike for pretty much all of this. He has been a huge help in getting this all figured out. But we do have some insulation. We have heat and air conditioning. It is pretty warm in here right now, being that we don't have our ceiling finished. I've been slowly getting the wood in here so we can get some drywall up, get this all sealed up so we can actually turn on our heat and air conditioning. So just a quick little extra in the end of this video for you guys, keeping you guys up to date on what's going on in the Hammerdown Motorsports world. We have plenty of stuff coming for you guys, so I hope you guys are enjoying the content and we'll see you guys in the next one.